Hello everyone. Welcome back to Mad About Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design this figure using Autodesk Fusion 360. Here are the dimensions of the figure and the tools and commands I'm going to use in this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss any of our new videos. Now, without wasting time, let's get into it. First, create a new design by going to File, select New Design. The unit I am going to use for this tutorial is millimeter. You can change it by clicking here, Unit Type, and you can select any of them. For now, I am going to use millimeter. First, I am going to create a new sketch on the top plane. Go to center dia circle or you can directly press C to go to center dia circle. Select the center as the origin and Give it a dia of 18 millimeter. Draw two concentric circles of diameter 32 millimeter and 50 millimeter respectively. Press escape. Arrange these dimensions so that we can have a clear look of our sketch. Now turn on this construction feature, go to straight line command, select the first point of the straight line on the origin and draw a vertical line of length 40 millimeter. Turn off this construction feature. Now continue this straight line. Draw a horizontal line of 45 millimeter, followed by a vertical line of 40 millimeter. Now a horizontal line of length. 24 millimeter followed by another vertical line of length 48 millimeter. Done. Now I think it would be better if I change this length to 30 millimeter okay now continue from here go to straight line again and draw a horizontal line from this point up to a length of 40 millimeter followed by a vertical line in downward direction of length 25 millimeter and another horizontal line vertically aligned with the origin up to this much. Press escape. Under constraint, click on horizontal slash vertical and select these two points so they will be vertically aligned to each other. Now under modify, go to fillet, select this corner and provide a fillet radius of 3 mm. Press enter. Under modify, go to offset, 
Before selecting anything, make sure this chain selection is turned off. For the curves, select these lines as follows and provide an offset distance of 10 millimeter. Press enter. Now go to straight line again and draw a straight line from this quadrant of the circle. Vertically in upward direction up to this line. Make sure that this line is vertical so select this line and click on vertical or horizontal under constraint done it is saying sketch geometry is over constraint that means the line is already vertical because it is perpendicular to this line now trim out this unnecessary portion so under modify click on trim this line and this line under sketch palette hide the dimensions so that we can have a clear view of our sketch now go to fillet again select this corner and provide a fillet radius of 12 millimeter press enter right click and repeat fillet select this corner and this time provide a radius of 6 millimeter press enter turn on the visibility of dimensions so that we can have a proper view of our dimensions If you want, you can take a screenshot so that you can draw your sketch properly. For now, let's just arrange these dimensions. We can also hide this constraints option so that it will hide the constraints. Now I am going to mirror this entire left side part on the other side. So under create go to mirror for the objects select all these lines and curves make sure you deselect them and for the mirror line select this vertical line it looks almost okay so click ok hide dimensions here is our sketch ready. Finish sketch. Go to extrude command. Select this profile. Drag it in upward direction up to 10 millimeter. Operation new body. Click OK. Turn on the visibility of previous sketch by going here. Go to extrude again. Select this profile, this outer circular profile and extrude it up to 42 millimeter. Operation join and click OK. Right click and repeat extrude. Select these two remaining profiles and extrude them up to 35 millimeter operation join and click ok hide sketch one here is the upper part of our model it's time for the lower part so create another sketch on this
right plane. Before starting the sketch, make sure you project this body on the current sketch. So under create, go to project or you can directly press P to do so. Selection filter bodies and turn on the projection link. Select this body and click OK. Here we have got the sketch, the projection of the body on our current sketch. So that we can draw the sketch with the help of this projected one. Go to straight line command, turn on the construction feature and draw a vertical line up to a length of 70 millimeter. Done. Hide the construction feature. Escape. Go to center dia circle and draw two concentric circles on this point. Having diameters of 24 millimeter and 48 millimeter respectively. It looks little bigger so change the dimension to 38 millimeter. Go to straight line command. Select the first point on this corner and the second point on this circle. Under constraint, go to tangent, select this line and the circle. So they will be tangent to each other. Here you can see the constraint option. Mirror this line on the other side. Under create, go to mirror. For the object, select this line and for the mirror line, select this construction line. Click OK. The line has been mirrored. Now go to center dia circle again. You can change the circle type here. I'm going to select this two tangent circle. For the first tangent, select this line and for the second one, select this line. Give it a radius of 25 millimeter and trim out this portion of the circle. Done. Finish sketch. Go to extrude command. Select this profile. Change the start plane to offset plane. Offset distance 32 millimeter and extrude distance 16 millimeter. Here you can see the profile has been extruded up to 16 millimeter and it has been extruded from a distance of total 32 millimeter. Operation new body and click OK. Turn on the visibility of previous sketch. Go to extrude again. Select this profile. Again, change the start plane to offset plane. Offset distance 35 millimeter and extrude distance 10 millimeter. Operation join and click OK. Hide sketch 2.
Now I am going to mirror this part on the other side of the body. So under create go to mirror. Object type features and for the objects select these two extrudes. For the mirror plane select this right plane. Compute option adjust click OK. Here the part has been successfully mirrored. It's time to create two holes here. So under create, go to hole. For the face, select this one. You can also move the hole position and here is the geometric midpoint. Let's drop it here. You can also do it manually. For the reference, select this edge and the distance will be 12.5 millimeter and the distance from this edge is 15 millimeter. Here you can change it also, but this is the required dimension for me. You can change it as per your requirements. Extend type, change it to all. So the hole will remove all the body materials coming on its way. Diameter 10 millimeter and click OK. Let's mirror this hole on the other side. So under create, mirror, object type, features, for the object, select this hole and mirror plane, this right plane, compute, adjust, click OK, here the hole is also done. Let's add some fillet on these sharp edges. So go to fillet select these two edges and fillet them up to a radius of 15 millimeter press enter do the same for these sharp edges right click and repeat fillet select these edges and fillet them up to a radius of 10 millimeter. Press enter. Here is our body ready. It's time to add some colors. So press A to go to appearance. I'm going to add this paint metallic red color on it and white color on the faces. So make sure you change the apply to option to faces and apply this white color on the surfaces. It's completely up to you. You can pick any color as you want. For me, this orange or reddish and white color looks little bit good. That's it. Press escape. Here is our design ready. I hope you guys have learned something new in this tutorial. See you in the next one. Till then, keep designing and design whatever you love. And if you guys have any suggestions and recommendations, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you.